so I'm going to talk to you about something that's really, really important. Okay, um, emotions, what are they? Um, happy. Like, like, if you're sad, that means you, you have a frown on your face. And mm -hmm. if you're happy, you have a smile on your face. So, so feelings, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, to sit across the different dust, just sit. Um, so, feelings are important, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Feeling happy, feeling sad, everything else. Now, um, for us as martial artists, okay, we, ha we have to manage our feelings, our emotions. Okay, now, I'm going to use a very strange way of describing feelings. Now, some of you may have heard this before. Okay, now, um, we, we use a book called My Hidden Gym, okay, and in it it's got lots of different activities. I know some of you have already got the book, okay. Now, I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine, okay, your brain, which is an incredibly complicated thing, okay, is made of different parts. And I want you to imagine, okay, that, that your brain is a bit like a zoo. So you're a zoo, okay. So your zoo, okay, is, is important. And in your zoo, you've got your animals. Now, it just so happens that your zoo in particular only has one, okay. And that's a chimp, a chimpanzee. Okay, now the reason we use chimpanzees is they're very similar to us. Now, there's another really important part of your brain, okay, which is your zoo keeper, okay. So what does a zookeeper do in a zoo, a normal zoo? Tell me, Dash. He, keep, he keeps all the animals safe, and if any um, animal will get away, he has some tricks to make them, to lure them back in. Okay, some tricks. Okay, I like that. Okay, now, he also does another job as well. Okay, what's the other job? Kieran. Um, it keeps everything calm. Okay, all right. So a zoo is not just for the animals, it's also for some, some other groups well. How about visitors? Yeah, visitors. So what does a zookeeper do for visitors? Go on, Billum. I like shows them around the zoo. Shows them around the zoo and then gives them information, yeah. right? Okay, so I want you to imagine, okay, so your brain is made up as an imaginary zoo. Okay, you've got a, a zookeeper and you've got your monkey, okay? See the monkey, okay, where would I see the monkey in particular? In its cage, right, okay. So, if it's out of its cage, will I feel safe going to the zoo? Right, okay, so the monkey is the feelings, right? Okay, so it's the zookeeper's job to keep the monkey in the cage so that I'm happy to come and visit you, the zoo, okay? Now, if the monkey is out, do you think I could teach the monkey about martial arts? Ivan? Maybe yes. Maybe. Okay, do monkeys listen? No, no, no. No, right? Okay, the zookeeper listens. So the zookeeper can learn about martial arts, the zookeeper can learn new things. The monkey, not so much. Okay, so again, this is another thing I want you to think about. So your zookeeper, okay, is told, so I'm telling you to go and empty the bins in your zoo. Okay, what do you think the zookeeper is going to do? Empty the bin. Okay, so the monkey, I go tell the monkey to go empty the bin. What does it do? <laughs> it throws things at you and it throws everything out. Okay, exactly, exactly. So I want you to think about that. Okay, so when I'm trying to teach you martial arts, what part of you do I want you to uh, do? I want to see. Is it the monkey or the zookeeper? Of course, because I know you can listen and you can learn. Like now, your zookeepers are all <coughs> listening to me right now. Okay. Now, the monkey is allowed to have fun, allowed to do crazy things, okay, but it has to be at the right time. Okay. Otherwise, if it's not at the right time, then the zookeeper gets tired and then he forgets to close the gate and then what happens next? The monkey can get out and do naughty things, right? Okay? So when we do martial arts in the class, if you're not disciplined, okay, this is a really important word, your zookeeper is the disciplined part of you, okay, if you're not managing that and your monkey gets out, okay, something can happen in our lessons and that is that you can hurt someone. We don't want that, do we? So, we need to know a way of controlling our monkey when it's got out of the cage. So I like to use the word, word monkey timeout words, I should say, monkey timeout. If I say to you, 
Hey, I'm going to pick on Kieran over there. Kieran, I think you need monkey time out. Is that me telling you off, or is that me telling you that maybe you need to manage your emotions? So at any stage, we ask you to take monkey time out. Okay, it's not us telling you off, that's just asking you to sit down and think about, mm, okay, I need to make sure that, that I'm in control, that my zookeeper's in charge. Now, there is a book, okay, it's called My Hidden Chimp, okay, we, we, use it, we reference it every now and again, there's some activities, okay, the thing I did mention were habits, we'll talk about those at another time.